Okay. So we're going to be in a place where we can spread out our arms for the warm up. So just feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, mountain pose. You want the weight into the base of your toes and heels evenly. Sitting bones, shoulder blades down toward the mat, and bottom ribs in toward your spine and up toward your heart so your core gets activated. Shoulders down and relaxed, crown to the ceiling. And just deep breaths, bringing your focus inward for your yoga perspective. So think about just drawing in the breath, letting the belly move as that whole lung capacity expands. And then as it exhales, the belly pushes in, pushing the toxins out with the breath. And just draw your awareness inward with the inhalation. Find your yoga perspective and remember, personal practice, do what's right for you. So sink down into your feet, get everything stacked all the way up to the crown, and inhale, arms out at shoulder level. Stretch through your fingertips and up through the crown. Exhale, bring your hands to your chest, elbows just a little bit back, and then inhale the arms out to the front, and exhale them behind you to clasp your fingers together. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, push your hands toward the floor, and as you exhale, pivot over. So hands coming up, head coming down as deep as you would like, and just let your neck around a little bit, <clears throat> get it soft and relaxed. And then tucking in your chin, lifting your ribs, dropping your sitting bones. <coughs> Slowly work your way back up. And chest to the ceiling, head back and shoulders down. So nice heart opening to start. We're going to be doing a lot of that upper body work today. And then inhale back upright. Exhale, release your arms. So just take a moment, feeling the circulation a little bit more along your spine through your body. And again, inhaling, reach out to the sides, extend through your fingertips and your head. Hands to your heart, elbows back, stretch forward, keep your shoulders down, and exhale the hands behind, clasping your fingers the opposite way. So shift the fingers one position over. Press the hands down and the heart up, stretch your spine, and pivot over, exhaling, letting that lower back again get a little bit free. Hands toward the ceiling, toward your head. And again, just breathe and relax there for a few breaths. And when you're ready, knees bent, chin in. Slowly work your way up, stacking your spine all the way to the top and coming into the upper body for your back bend. Shoulders down, head back. And then inhale upright, exhale, and release. And again, just take a moment feeling your body, noticing how it's feeling this morning. And then one arm down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling and over your shoulder. Push the hands up, slide into your side stretch. So don't lean your top shoulder forward. Make sure you're just going straight to the side, getting those ribs separating. Push the foot you're leaning away from down to get those ribs and obliques stretched a little more. Exhale back up. Exhale the arm down. Feel your side and your spine and the other direction. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, over your shoulder. Push the hands away and slide over to the side, opening up through the ribs, through that side. Maximize or minimize, choice is yours, pushing the foot down if you like a little bit extra on that side you're leaning away from. And again, inhaling upright, exhale and release. Feel your spine, feel your sides and breathe. And we'll do our twist warm up. So arms again out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling and over your shoulders. Elbows, pull your arms back by your ears, sitting bones and shoulder blades down, ribs in. And then stretch the exhalation.
Look up and lift your heart. Lift your low back while you go into it. Upper body back bend. Elbows back, chest up, shoulders down. And then inhale, exhale to the center. Put your arms around. And again, shoulders and shoulder blades down and crown high. Exhale. Lengthen up, breathing in. Pivot over. Coming into your And then keeping the feet stay up one more time and lift your heart, elbows back, and again, very gentle on that lower back. As you inhale, exhale back to the center, stretch your arms up and palms toward the floor at shoulder level. Pivot forward, chest and chin coming. Keep your back as flat as you can. Keep the arms shoulder level. And then drop into ragdoll, just hanging the whole spine, get a good stretch. And just wherever your arms are, you can stay there, or you can bring your arms up your way. Just pull in a little bit more. And again, just wind your way slowly back to standing in mountain pose. Find the wall. We're going to be using the wall this morning, and we're going to be doing some heart openers and shoulder work. So just take a moment to breathe and finding your place. If you need a closed door, that's enough. Just to have your mat near there. That's fine. So take a moment and return to mountain pose when you're ready. So we're going to work the neck a little bit. So chin in toward your chest, back of the neck, stretching. One hand to the back of your head and then the other. And just a gentle stretch, so not pressure with your hands, just a little extra weight to give the back of the neck a good stretch. And then release your hands back down and tip your chin up. So. Keep lengthening through the back of your neck also. So keep that base of the skull moving away as you lift your chin. And then just move your jaw around, stretch the front of your throat. Get the whole neck going into that backward bend. And then tip your head back upright and bring your ear over to one shoulder. So keep both shoulders down, don't hunch anything up. And then the side your head is sipping toward, that arm comes up. And the hand just rests on the side of your head, giving a little extra stretch through that side of your neck and shoulder. And then push your fingertips down or the heel of your palm down if you want a little extra stretch on that side. But don't go too far, remember, personal practice, gentle if you need it. And then relax the arm that's down, release the hand that's on your head, and tip back up. Feel the difference on the two sides. And we'll do the other side. So tip to the other side. Again, both shoulders staying down. That hand up, you're tipping toward comes up. And the other hand, fingertips or heel of the palm goes down. And just relax as that whole side of your neck and shoulder gets a stretch. And then release the hand that's down and the one that's on your head. And tip back upright. Take a moment, feeling more circulation through the sides of your neck. And then sitting bones down, crown high, and we're only turning the neck this time into the twist. So shoulders and hips stay front as you turn and look to one side. And just breathe and relax as you deepen into that backing out of the driveway position. And then again, up with the top of your head and exhale back to the center. Another breath in, lengthening, and exhale, turning to the other side. And again, just breathe and relax as you deepen into that twist, only in the neck. And then again, turning back to the center, take a moment to readjust into mountain pose. 
we're going to turn toward the wall and just step near it. And as you face the wall, we're going to put the hand next to you, next to your shoulder. Take a little step back if you need to, just adjust so that the length of your arm is pretty good. And then we're going to take the hand at 90 degrees so the fingertips go to the side. And then walk in until your upper arm comes along the wall, and that hand stays on the wall as much as you can. And then turn away back toward the center of the room, away from the wall that your hand is on, opening the shoulders. So as much as you can, keep pivoting around, keeping that arm as much and hand as much on the wall as feels good for you. So a little shoulder opening there across that upper chest upper shoulder area. Breathe. Exhale. Maybe go a little further. And then walk back around to face the wall. Fingertips up and release. And we'll do the other side. So again, stepping back, hand against the wall in front of your shoulder. Turn those fingertips to the side. Bring your body in or on the wall. And then just as much as your body needs, turn away from that shoulder, opening across the front of your chest. Breathe and relax. Maximize or minimize. Don't go too far. We don't want to overwork the shoulder or make anything uncomfortable. Just give it a good relaxation and stretch. And as it relaxes, maybe turn a little bit further or maybe not. Personal practice. Do what's right for your body. And then turning back toward the wall, turn the fingers up and release the arm. And maybe your arms feel a little bit more stretched out. Just relax there and keep facing the wall. We're going to bring the hands again onto the wall in front of your shoulders. Take a little step back. Get the elbows as straight as you can. And then we're going to take the hands up so that the heel of your hands is where your finger to So kind of at the level of the temples as you press into the wall. Spread your fingers. Get the fingertips, the fingers, the base of the fingers, and the heel of the palm, the whole hand connected on both arms. And then pick another step back, maybe two. And you want to push your hips back till they're right above your ankles and let your chest come down toward the floor. So your arms and ears will be right about next to each other and the hands stay above your head. So don't tuck your chin. So a back bend, upper back. That chest area is the part that's sinking toward the floor, the armpit chest. So think about also the back of the shoulder blades sinking down. So we want to be opening across the heart, letting that whole area just sink deeper toward the floor. Keep pushing the sitting bones, hips back. Keep breathing. Keep reaching your head toward your hands. And then tuck in your chin, bend your knees, and walk back toward the wall, and release your arms. And just feel a little bit more open across that upper body as you feel how that is working for you this morning. Now we're going to turn the back toward the wall and be about a foot or so away from the wall. If you like a deeper back bend, you can go a little further away from the wall. We're going to be reaching back for the wall. So mountain pose, feet hip width apart, everything stacked. We're going to bring the arms out, shoulder level, turn your palms up, and bring your hands right above your shoulders. Now this is a little tricky. When your hands are up, they're facing each other. We're going to turn the pinkies in. So that's going to rotate your whole arm at the, from the shoulders all the way up. So the hands will face toward the back. And then we're going to keep the upper arms from the wrists all the way through the elbows where they are and just turn the wrists back so that they're facing forward. Hands start, palms toward each other, right above your shoulders. Turn your pinky fingers in so the whole arms move. 
and then only the wrists move to turn the hands back forward. And then start leaning back, looking up, and get your fingertips on the wall. Stay there if that's enough and keep lifting your heart or move until your hands can be on the wall. So you want the upper body in the back bend more than the lower back. The further down you bring your hands, the more your lower back gets in the back bend. So don't go there if you don't want to. Fingertips only on the wall is perfectly fine. Chest up, breathe. Lengthen through your spine. Chin a little bit towards your chest. Don't crunch your neck. And then when you're ready to release, chin more toward your chest and push your hands off the wall back to standing position. And again, just feel across the heart and across the chest. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. Hands to your heart. So we're in mountain pose. Inhale, bringing your hands up, looking up. Swan dive, so the arms come out to the side, shoulder level, pivot forward, keep your back nice and flat, sitting bones back, crown to the front. Stretch out through your fingertips. And then drop down into ragdoll, a nice little forward bend to counteract that back bend that you were just doing. And then slide your hands up on your shins under your knees, straighten your elbows, flatten your back, Chin tuck slightly towards your chest, stretch it open. And then exhaling, release down, and come all the way to the mat into child's pose. So hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor. And remember, if you need padding under your ankles, between your heels and hips, between your calves and thighs, or under your forehead, any of those can work. Just take a few moments to breathe. I'm not going to put my head all the way down because my microphone tends to start dysfunctioning then. So just give yourself a good stretch. The closer your knees are, the more your lower back gets a stretch. The further apart, the easier it is to breathe. Just make your choice. And then inhale and sit up on your heels and come into staff position with your legs extended out in front. So sitting bones connect and just allow your whole body to be stacked like it was in mountain pose. Hips, knees, ankles, toes up towards the ceiling, heels, bottoms of the feet pressing out, shoulders right above your hips, and crown reaching toward the ceiling. Hands either in your lap or on your sides for staff position. We're going to go into butterflies. So bring the bottoms of your feet together, the knees out to the side. You can move back and forth on your sitting bones to make that a little bit easier in the pelvic tilt. Or you can put some padding behind you to give yourself that movement in front of your sitting bones a little bit more. And then we're going to bring one hand behind and then the other. And just put your, put your hands press down into them just gently and lift your heart again, stretching up through the crown. So you can tuck your, 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 you can pull your chin more toward the ceiling, but don't crunch the back of your neck too much as you go into that and get a little more opening across the heart, across the chest. Keep breathing. And then releasing your hands back to the center. I'm going to lift the knees and bring them back out into staff. Again, just feel the opening through your chest and allow the whole spine to get a good energy. And we're going to go up on our knees. If you need padding under your knees, feel free to do that. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to sit back as much as feels good on your heels. with the knees straight in front of your hips and the heels under your sitting bones. And then bring the hands behind you. We're going to clasp the hands and press the knuckles toward the floor. So you're, again, opening across the heart. 
And then as you exhale, pivot forward, bringing your forehead down toward the floor. It doesn't have to touch. And chin tucking in slightly. Bring your hands up toward your head, toward the ceiling, as much as your shoulders want to go. Just take a moment and breathe. Relax the shoulders. And then chin back in and slowly pivot back up with the nose to the floor. And release your arms back to the center. So again, feel that circulation all across the chest, all across the upper body. And we're going to do it one more time with the opposite clasp to your fingers. So shift them one position over. And again, press the knuckles down, look up, and pivot forward. And as you come over toward the mat, just tuck in your chin a little bit. Keep bringing those hands up toward the ceiling, over toward your head if that works for your shoulder. Do what's right for you. Remember, personal practice. You may have those hands way toward the back. That's perfectly okay. Deep breath. Just relax. And then again, the chin comes in as you slowly work your way back up. And press those knuckles toward the floor, looking up. And then release your hands and come back into your starting position. So again, feeling the heart, feeling the shoulders. Feeling that upper body and the spine. Just notice how your body responds this moment. And then we're going to go up onto our knees. If you need to fold over your mat to get padding under your knees, you can do that. And we're going to come up with the hips right above the ankles and support our lower back. So bring your hands onto your lower back with the heel of your palm right about the bottom ribs and the fingertips going down toward your hips. And then rotate your elbows toward each other. And then turn a little bit. So your elbows may start out here. Bring them as close toward each other as you can, which is going to open that heart area even a little bit more. And look up. And just keep those hips right above the knees as you bring your head back toward the wall behind you. So just maximize through the upper body. And keep those hands on the lower back for good support. And then chin tucks in, coming back up. And release down, hips to your heels. And a little child's pose, forward bend to counteract that back bend. Take a breath. Just relax. And then inhale and sit up. And we're going to turn around toward the wall. Okay, this is going to be a little strange, maybe even uncomfortable. So do what's right for you. If you need that padding near the wall for your knees, that's fine. You can do extra padding. So bring your whole body as close to the wall as you can. Nose to the wall. We're going to again bring those hands behind onto the lower back, elbows toward each other. And then just rotate your face to look up. And keep peeling your upper body off the wall, but the bottom ribs stay on the wall. So this is a little bit more educated version of the supported camel that we were just doing. So your whole upper body is in an upper body back bend looking up towards the ceiling. You can tuck your chin back a little bit towards your chest if that neck feels like it's stretching too much in the original position. But keep the Ribs on the wall and your upper chest peeling back. And when you're ready to release, just rotate your face back toward the wall. Release your hands and sink back down. Sit away from the wall for that child's pose. Forward and just take a moment to breathe and relax in that forward bend. We're going to do one more. That's a little bit more intense for your neck area. That's why we did our neck warm-ups earlier. So lift your body off your heels and tuck your toes under so the heels come up. And then sink hands wrapped around your heels. Open your heart, stretch your crown toward the ceiling, 
and then bring your body forward, bringing the crown of your head to the And sit up and bring your legs up to the front in the staff position. Again, just take a moment there, feeling your body. And we're going to roll back onto our backs for our final twist before our relaxation. So just a reclined integration to relax into the mat. Bring your arms out to T position, straight out from your shoulders. We're gonna press that lower back down, bend the knees, draw your heels in close to your hips, slide your sitting bones toward the heels so that back is connected to the mat and then lift your feet up with the knees right above your hips. Take a moment to breathe. You can have the hands palms up or down. Down is a little bit more stable for your shoulders. And then roll your knees to one side, bring your hips to the opposite side. So full back, the knees come down to that lower back. You keep your feet on the floor, or you can put padding under your feet if you need that for your And your shoulders and shoulder blades stay down. And your head turns as much as feels comfortable for your neck and shoulders and your twist. Just breathe and relax. And when you're ready, pull your heels toward your hips and roll back onto your back, releasing that twist. You can bring your feet to the mat for a moment if you'd like. And again, when you're ready, bring those feet off the floor, knees above your hips, and roll your knees to the opposite side, turning your head toward that arm behind you. So you can keep the arms at shoulder level, bring the knees as far toward the floor as you want, and pad with your feet or a towel or blanket if you need to. And again, just maximize for your lower back, your middle back, and your upper back, whatever's right for your body. Deep breaths, just relax. Allow everything to release into your twist, getting everything aligned and ready for our relaxation. And again, heels back toward your hips, rolling onto your back, feet to the mat, and sliding out along the floor for our final corpse pose. So stay in corpse pose if you'd like, or choose another relaxation posture if you prefer. We're gonna just sink the body into the surface beneath you, letting Mother Earth support you completely. So move the hips if you need to, move the shoulders, do whatever's necessary to get everything aligned and balanced for our relaxation. And to focus into the middle of your skull, into the middle of your head, feeling that meditative re center reacting to that twist energy, kind of getting you ready for a little introspective relaxation. So drop your sitting bones down, your shoulders down, your whole body, let it sink, growing heavy. Lots of upper body work today, so focus on relaxing your torso especially across the shoulders and the heart. Hands, palms up, slightly away from your sides in corpse position. Just relax your hips and your lower body as well. 
Focus inward, closing your eyes, breathing deeply, letting your belly move with the breath. Inhaling and exhaling, letting the tension go. As your body begins to relax more and more, just let it grow heavier to sink deeper into that earth embrace. Mother Earth supporting you. Just let your body relax completely. No need to pay any attention to your body. Just let awareness release completely. And as it does, other thoughts come to your mind. Let them go as well. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift as easily as your breath, in and out, paying no attention to the content of your thoughts. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift away, unneeded, unnoticed. And as your body relaxes and your mind drifts more easily, allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward. Find that peace within. Let it grow in your body. Grow in your mind. Filling your being with peace. And if you'd like to stay relaxing for a while, feel free to do so for as long as feels good for you. If you're ready to get up for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Moving your hands, your feet, your body gently as you are ready. Stretching however you'd like this morning. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, press your lower back down, draw your heels in, press your back toward the mat, and draw your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, and allow your body to know you appreciate its work every day as well. When you're ready to release, bring your feet back down, roll to the side, and sit back up for the rest of your preparation for your day and weekend ahead. Hands to your heart, just appreciating your body, your work in yoga this morning, and the work your body does every day. Thanks for joining me.